What's up, YouTube? Uh, today we're just gonna do a short little segment on some DIY, like catfish bait, which pretty much all catfish bait is DIY unless you go and buy like stink baits. Um, stink baits are like the the, the like freeze dried shad and stuff like that, and punch baits. Um, most guys that do a lot of catfishing, almost all of them do their own bait. So DIY catfish bait is kind of redundant, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Um, now, um, a lot of guys fish for flatheads. Obviously, you're gonna use like cut perch or um, you know cut shad or live shad, things like that. That's where you get a lot of your flatheads at. Um, they will really like that live bait. Um, as far as like channel cats and blues, I've got blues on hot dogs uh, and stuff like that. I mean, you don't plan on fishing, but you got your gear with you, campfire, it happens. <clears throat> so, uh, what we've got here, we just got the, the cheaper brand. Cheaper brand of hot dogs, just the Bar S brand. Um, they're pretty much like a staple at every. So uh, real quick, we've got uh, garlic salt. We've got garlic, like minced garlic, and we've got garlic powder. Um, the reason why is is everybody has like their own little preference. So I'm just showing you like uh, I'll probably do like a another video later on testing out each bait. So we'll see which one works the best. I've caught them on. I think all three of these, I haven't really done like a side-by-side -side comparison before, but so the first step you have just get these hot dogs out these actually, so my fiance coupons does extreme coupons, so a lot of times we get stuff that's like way, way too much to ever eat like on your own, but Either it's a money maker type of situation, or it's a um, you know you need to buy that to get this other stuff, you know, at a better deal type of thing. So just gonna cut those out. A lot of guys cut them in the package. I don't like to do that. I find it annoying. So I'm like, my video, do what I want. Okay. So next I next thing is up that you'll need to decide on um, is what you'll be using to fish. So I've done. I've just brought like a few little things out of my bag real quick. Um, get a straight hook, just a straight, um, like a hook you'd use for like your trout line and then a circle hook. Um, they're all three gonna work but the thing is you need to decide what kind of hook you're gonna use. Like I've seen guys use these, I use these a lot for this setup and a hot dog is so soft that as soon as they crush it, it, it sets. So um, trout line hooks are always good. Hot dogs are great for that because you can set however many you know. Um, so, uh, the next thing we should do is just cut them. So we say, like, this is the shortest hook we have here. So we know that really, like, more than that, it's not going to fit on there. So we'll do, we'll do a ring of these. Okay, so that's the first set. Uh, this shank's obviously a little longer, so we'll kind of cut. We're just gonna cut these like all to kind of fit. Like, why not? And um, so since my fiance extreme coupons, <clears throat> these actually expired in September of 2016. It's 2018, so that tells you like how much you have. But they've just been in the freezer, doing their thing in there. And the last one's a trout line hook. It didn't really matter that much. Because the, the trout line hook's not going to be cast out, so I don't really worry about those being a little extra long. Um, so the next thing we're going to do, we're just going to bag these up. Now normally, I think when I, when I thawed these out, I think they kind of... Uh, I think they may be in a hole in the package from them being frozen or getting jumbled around the freezer. So that's that. Um, there's not a lot of juice in that one for some reason. I think the package had a hole in it, so that'll happen. So now what we're gonna do is we got our chunks pulled up. Uh, a lot of guys cut them in half, like just straight in half. Uh, not my favorite. Actually, leave one of these chow real quick. 
<clears throat> so, and then uh, this cabin has bigger chunks, I think, bigger fish. Not necessarily true. I'm sure there's smaller fish in there. You can't fit it in their mouth. You have a sign catch it, but it's the weirdest looking. Why? I'm glad I never ate these. That's awkward. Right. So, you know, we got three different bags of hot dogs here. Boom, boom. Boom. Alright, so we got that. I know what you guys are looking at is just some chunks. So, some people say, like, oh, I can never get hot dogs to stay on the hook. Well, yeah, because once you break this outside skin, that skin layer there, they don't they don't act right. So, uh, what I always do is I just run a like a swivel, a clip swivel. There you go, just like that. Put it through. Out the other side. So instead of breaking the skin that kind of holds it all together, instead I just push it through there. See, push it through, and then I'll just push it out, clip the swivel on. When you cast it, there's no tear in that skin, so that skin holds up real nice. Um, I don't particularly like clips of them that much, um, but they do have, they do do a good job for this purpose. Slide up in there, clip it on, toss it out. It's that easy, they're real simple. Um, that's how I like to rig them. Everybody rigs stuff differently. It's, Fishing is a lot like anything else in life. There's always going to be someone who does it one way because that works for them. And there's going to be people who do it other ways because it doesn't work for them. So that's just what we have. I mean, that's the beauty of everybody being an individual. We can all kind of thing. There's a little bit of hobbit dog juice in here, so I'm just going to pour it into these two here. All right. So next up we're going to do, um, we're going to go ahead and add some garlic. So, uh, let's see if I can just see. There we go. Alright. So, pick some garlic up. Garlic salt's going in the first one. Okay. Garlic powder's going in the third one. And. This minced garlic, which smells terrible, is going in the middle one. Okay, so now we have everything's got garlic in it. So next we have, just gonna take our jello. It doesn't have to be name brand Joe. These actually were on clearance at my Walmart for like 10 cents a piece. Um, and this is a bait I make every so often. You think about when you buy things for baits, you don't have to worry about their expiration dates because you know you're not gonna eat it. So um so you're good there. I usually recommend like one package per like one package of gelatin per package of hot dogs. So. We're gonna heat them up as you can see. There's no like we're not gonna make the jello jelly whatever. Um we're just gonna kinda disperse it. So what we'll do next is uh let's we'll kinda burp these just a little bit, get the air out of them. Um we're gonna shake. So we're just gonna give it a nice little shake, kind of roll them around. Uh, you can kind of see there's parts where like the juice is starting to turn pink already. Uh, this is just watermelon color. So we'll so. just so you can add a little water. Like these are a little dry. You could add a little water in there if you wanted to, but if you look, it starts to coat them really well. So obviously mine go well. That's how I like them. That's how they work for me. So, same thing. So the minced garlic, the minced garlic I think is, I've never tried actual minced garlic. I've thrown like a little bit of minced garlic in with my um, with my bait before, like just a like just a little bit, um, not this much ever. Um, 
it tends to work. It, it it's gonna shake. So there's that. They're pretty much done. Uh, we'll throw them in the fridge for I don't know. You can do this like two days before, day before. It doesn't really matter. Um, honestly, they probably work just as good like the way they are now. But so what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw them in the fridge for a couple days. Uh, we'll come back. Um, we'll take a look at it from there. Also, what we're gonna do is we'll we'll do a little video. We'll do a little fish off to see which one fishes the best. Um, and kind of see like which one gets the most hits. So we'll fish the same area, same hook setup, and just see which one gets bites first or the most bites. Um, so yeah, so it's real simple. You know, hot dogs, jello, some sort of garlic. Some people just do jello, or people use Kool Aid. I've seen Kool Aid be used too. Um, I always use jello because it's what it's made out of gelatin, so um, I feel like that puts a better scent in the water for them. Uh, so yeah, like I said, we'll put this in, uh, we'll give it a few days, we'll bring it back out, we'll show it to you, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Right. So we'll be back in just a moment. Alright guys, let's talk a bit more about the, um, the bait we just made, the hot dog while they're, while they're in the fridge. Um, I think the reason why I like this bait the most out of all the catfish baits is because it's a, it's a real family friendly bait. Um, you know, you set your, your wife's rig up or your girlfriend's rig and your kid's rig and you set up, you set everybody's rods up, get them rigged up, you know, and you slam those, those clip swivels on the end. All they have to do is unclip that swivel, put the bit, the hook back through a new bait, put it on the rinse their hand off. They don't know touching blood or like anything that stinks. Um, so you don't always have to use garlic. Some people use just a jello. Um, I do like just the Jello for that purpose because you can get just a just a nice clean like smell. Like your hands smell like strawberries at the end of the day. It's probably the best day of fishing that your wife's gonna have if she ever has to help you. Um, 